Hi there, Peter of England. Outside today, this could be anywhere in Europe. It could be anywhere in the world. Uh, people are mixing uh, with each other. They're walking up and down on the streets. They're in coffee bars, they're in restaurants, they're on public transport. And three years now into the pandemic, we end up in a situation where uh, nobody walking down the street is any more asked for proof that they've had a, a PCR test, that they are COVID free. Most of them have in fact been vaccinated. However, as we're all walking around here, nobody really knows who's been vaccinated and who hasn't. And so what I can quite imagine is a scenario of a conversation between these people here, whose names I won't mention, but you can see quite clearly. Um, and this type of conversation could go something like this. Bill saying to Tony, uh, hi, Tony. Well, you know, we've got all these people vaccinated worldwide now. There's 8 billion people on the planet. Uh, virtually everybody, or 80% to 85% of them, have been vaccinated. Um, but the problem is, if only we could have found out or put something into this program whereby we could identify people quite easily now because everybody's walking around and we can't identify the vaccinated from the non-vaccinated apart from the fact that I'm showing a document, but people could put false documents together. So what do we do? I wish we'd have thought about this. Klaus Schwab then comes in and says, yes, but that is exactly what we did. Uh, we made sure that Albert Borea, the uh, CEO of Pfizer, that he actually, being a veterinarian, uh, chipped everybody. So what we did in effect is we put something in there whereby we could actually track by using the bioneural, bioelectrical circuitry in the human body to provide the power. And then we then made sure that that could be Bluetooth radiated from them so we could find anyone, anywhere, anytime. And so with that in mind, that's exactly what was done. And to show an example of how that was done, um, we have to turn to, to the various technologies that are available and I'm going to demonstrate that now. So what if everyone had either had the PCR test or the nasal swab or the vaccination had already been logged in and basically identifiable quite easy by simply producing a 32-digit alphanumeric code, a bit like the, um, the codes that are on the pin and the puck in your iPhone or any other Android, uh, Android phone, so that you could easily be pickable upable. So with that in mind, what I'm going to show you now is something called a Bluetooth tracker which, as you can see here in a fairly busy area, in any normal place that would be coffee shop, we can see the sheer number of beacons. Now, usually what you can do, if you have this on a generalized setting, you end up with just every particular type of radiating software showing something. Um, that would be, it would show whether there are earbuds, Bluetooth earbuds, they will show whether it's an iPhone, it will show whether it is a, a Windows uh, transmitter uh, for your router in the house. But as you can see here, what we've got is quite a, a number of consistent, consistent pickups from this and it's changing all the time as people come nearer and nearer and if we take off beacon what we will find is it will pick up almost everything you see there uh, iPhone 13 um, it picks up uh, Samsung 7 series it'll pick up ear pads uh, ear, ear pod pads whatever they're called but if we then put it onto beacon again, it only pulls up the beacon 
and it's showing here if we use another scanner to give you an example of what it's actually picking up iPhones and other objects it's picking up are known but the rest are not these are unknown and it says manufacturer unknown and you can see the various symbol codes there that give a reference for every single individual that's transmitting and so this is something I've known about for over uh, a year, a year and a half now. Um, the reason I'm doing the video on it is because it seems to be quite strange that everybody's going about their normal daily lives quite oblivious to the fact of what's been, been perpetrated on them and totally unaware that they're being tracked at every eventuality and no matter where they go uh, these things uh, are not only being picked up by the 5G wireless grid and everything that's able to read Bluetooth but in addition, in addition it's also being able to be picked up through the satellite courtesy of Elon Musk and his Starlink systems um, and so it's, it should be very uh, of great concern or worrying to people out there and uh, I'll finish off the video now by just showing it again towards the the camera and you can see how as people come and go they come closer they walk away that the distance on these changes and there is a register of ones that have come and disappeared they've gone further than a hundred meters from this tracking ability on this particular uh, device and so there you go you've got a ongoing example of what's being tracked here and wh where these people are. Okay, thank you.